definitely, um, <clears throat> I feel like we definitely have her in the building. She was talking to me a little bit ago before I went and got in the shower and got out. Cute, okay? Because um, I didn't wake up like this. I didn't wake up like this. That would be a lie. And if you saw it in the morning, you'd be like, no, bitch, you lie. You said you woke up, and that's not the way you woke up. But you need to hear nor there. Um, so, I have been asking the ancestors and the spirit. I said that she's going to come forward because uh, you said paying my cash app. She didn't say number 10. You didn't say number 10. Wait a minute. I pin it up here. So, I asked the ancestors. I said that she's going to come forward, you know, because... Like, I feel like there are some things that, you know, people have been wanting to know. And I know that she had told me some stuff herself. And they keep kept telling me, like, well, she's here. And I'm like, well, she's here, okay. You know, I don't know. Okay. And so I'm like, well, she, if she's here, then let's go ahead and do it, you know. Um... But they keep assuring me that she is here and she is ready to talk. So when I was talking to her before, I had said to her, uh, can I call you KK? And I don't even know why the fuck I don't even like to. I don't even know why the fuck I answered it. And she started laughing like, yeah, I got two K's in my name. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just call you KK if that's fine. And she was like, okay. So I was like, but what would they mean to answer if I could call you KK? So, I am anxious as well. I don't know what in the fuck, but I do know that she's here. Um, yeah, my spirit is going up real high right now. Um, I know she's here. I know um, they're telling me, yeah, she's here, but there's a couple other people that's here too. I don't know if they said Chuck. He's saying Chris Henry. I know he used to play for the Bengals. So we got some some people here, right? So we're going to go on and, and see. So let me go ahead and say my prayer um, as we go into this. I'm so nervous. Um, let me just say my prayer first. I'm ready to talk. So we're going to listen. We is going to listen. So um, I only know what I know from the media. I do not know Kanika Jenkins in person. Um, and I have to say, allegedly, for everything that we are going to talk about, um, I'm going to say allegedly, okay? So, um... I don't know if she's saying a lot of people had a lot of things to say about her, but she's going to set some things straight. I feel very jittery, okay? So, um, she keeps telling me, she's been telling me for this for a long time since I was getting dressed to get my shit on. She keeps telling me to describe what she has on because she feels like she's, like, fancy. Um, but she keeps switching her outfit. She keeps showing me two different outfits, so I don't know if she went back and forth. Um, but she keeps showing me, like, her hair is really long, like, she has, like, I guess if, in, in human terms, she would have, like, a weave or whatever, but her hair is really long, the way she presents it, with a part down the middle, and, um, I don't know if she would have never worn her hair with a part down the middle, because she originally kept telling me about her forehead, or thinking her forehead was kind of big, um, and she keeps showing me the part, so I was like, oh, so do you have a bang, and she keeps saying no. Um, the part, so her hair is parted down the middle and it's long, but she kept talking about her forehead, so I don't know if that's something that she wouldn't have normally, um, have done, okay? So I'm just going to put that out there because that's the way she presents it to me, okay? So I'm going to listen. We're going to let her come in and sit down. I do have Naya here as well. 
So I'm going to give her some sugar because that's what she keeps trying to do. She's been trying to give it to me for a minute. Um, she keeps saying, yeah, girl, long time no see. Let me write your name down to me. She says we have a lot to talk about. So Kanika has on a, a completely white, um, she says pearl white, um, blazer suit but it doesn't look like there's anything up under it she looks very classy very nice the pants are fitted she keeps saying tailored they're fitted but then once they get down to the ankle they kind of come out she looks very beautiful and she keeps doing her hair like this so um okay Naya keeps saying this is not about her. Naya's hair looks very curly today in the swept to the side per usual when she comes and speaks to me. Um, but she has on like a t-shirt and some jeans that look like kind of the mom boyfriend jeans kind of look. This rolled at the bottom with some like little sneakers as she calls them sneakers. And then she has like a, a flannel tied around her waist. Okay. So they both look very pretty. Um... Nice says she's kind of um, like sun swept or something like she's very plain in the face but she looks very beautiful like she's not touched up or makeup or something. I don't know why she's saying it like that but that's very funny that she's even saying it like that. So let's go ahead and, and get let's get started. Um, so Kanika keeps giving me an A name, like Andrea. Like I don't know if she has a middle name or something. I don't know if she's acknowledging someone else. But there is an A name that Kanika keeps giving me, like Andrea or something. There's something with an A. Let me write that down. Um, so I don't know if that's her middle name or if she's acknowledging someone else that just has the A name. Okay. So I'm gonna also say that. She's laughing at the group they was just in there talking about. Okay, so here we go. So let's talk to her, y'all. She's waving. She keeps leaning forward, doing like this. Okay, so. Let's bring it to the, the girl's birthday, your friend's birthday. You were going to go to the party. She keeps making my damn head hurt. I don't know why. It was hurting up here earlier. Now it's hurting right here. Um, okay. So let me listen. You were going to the girl's party. Um, before that. Okay. So even before that, what was that? What's going on? Introduce yourself. Let's, let's, let's make it roll. I don't know if, if she's Kanika Maria or Kanika Malia or Kanika something, but I feel like there's a middle name and that might be Andrea or maybe a middle name. I'm just going to connect with the name and put it down here because I keep hearing it, okay? Um, telling me that her and her friends were very excited about um she said but they always are excited always excited um so something happened to my hand too because my fingers hurt um so let me write these things down really quick head and hand my head and my hand hurts um Naya is telling her to take her time because she's the energy she's bringing is almost like she's going back and forth between back and what, what happened and before everything happened. So she's like telling her to take her time. Um, and I want to shout out um, Humble Beast Apparel just really quickly so you'll know. Um, holla at Ty Harris. Okay. So 
y'all were excited about going, which you said y'all always were. Um, is that just for this party? Or are you talking about for all parties, which I can understand because that's how y'all do. Um, but I want to I want to hear from you, so just just let me listen. She keeps talking about taking pictures. She said, "Cause that's what we do." talking about all her friends being boy crazy she says she is almost like she considers herself the old lady but they say that she's the hype one or something um so are you boy crazy too <coughs> she's like yeah she said i guess so i would so a lot of people in spirit say they have a boyfriend you ain't got a boyfriend She said she talking to somebody. He used to, I don't know if he used to sing or he used to want to sing. She said he knows a lot about the industry, a lot about different stuff. She just met him recently, she says. She says he's cute though. She says chocolate. Naya, she keeps laughing. She says, I know that's right, girl. So, okay. So, y'all took some pictures and stuff. She's talking about picking out her outfit. She keeps saying she knew what she was going to wear. She knew what she wanted to wear. She's saying, this is what we do. This is what we did. It almost feels like this is almost what they did. Like, every weekend or every other weekend, like, they would link up or click up. Like, I feel like we would go to, like, somebody's house, too. Or just kick it at somebody's house from time to time as well as the way she brings it to me, though. I don't know if... If she's calling herself KK, because like I said, I had called her KK earlier, or she's saying Kiki, but I um, I feel like I need to acknowledge someone with, whose name I will repeat twice, like Momo or Kiki or Day Day. Like I want to repeat somebody's name twice, and that's the way she keeps giving it to me. I don't know why she's saying it like this, but she keeps saying, I ain't want nobody, man, or nothing. I want what was for me. But I don't even understand why you're saying it like that, though. She said, because people kept trying to say, are you saying after your passing? Okay. She said she's setting the record straight because people kept trying to say after her passing that this was about like jealousy or it's her dealing with somebody's dude or um about some guy she said none of that none of that she said she was killed straight up for money for parts straight up she said she heard or saw when i said that before and she says it was right but she says the other souls kept telling her she needs to talk about it or needs to say something more about it. Um, but she says she always talks about it, usually through Candace Starr, she says. Um, If she didn't almost didn't want to go or she had second thoughts about going because I feel like I really not necessarily wanted to go like I wanted to do something but really I could have just chilled for real but um I ended up going anyway like I feel like I was excited because this is what we do like I love to get dressed up like I love to be cute I love to put on my clothes 
Um, but I wasn't necessarily like pressed, although I wanted to go because I knew it was gonna be some um some, some slims or some dudes or some, some niggas there or something. Um, but she said that's why she wanted to go, but other than that, she wasn't really pressed because this is what they do. She said she had out they had already been like kicking it and fucking it up before they even went. Um, I feel like, you know how you go over your friend's house to get dressed and stuff, you know? That's the way she keeps making me feel about it. Like, I had been to my friend's house to get dressed, and we were, um, like, just kicking it before we had even went. She keeps saying, but something in her body felt weird, or something in her body made her feel like she didn't want to go, or she shouldn't have went, but she went anyway. So they keep trying to say that your friends set you up. Now, I know you had a friend that was like Monique, Monifa, um, something like that. Um, no, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just, okay, but you know who I'm talking about, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, so they're saying that your friends were, were had something to do with it, like your friends were in on it. She keeps saying, nah, 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 I feel so dizzy. Like, I feel really woozy. She keeps saying, nah, 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 nah. Not my bitches, not my main bitches, not the ones I, I went with or the ones I came with. She said they was really fucked up behind it. And she said she wanted to set the record straight as well, that her mother had nothing to do with that, okay? Nothing had to, no, her mother had nothing to do with her passing. She was not involved in it or anything to that degree. She said she was mad as hell that um, people was even saying that. She also keeps saying that my hair, her mama hair, my hair, her mama hair. Yeah, I did see your mama hair was like this when this happened. So, tell me what's going on. She keeps saying she didn't even really want to be there after she got there. She didn't want to be there. She keeps saying, right, right. It was thick. Like, it was thick. The tension. She said everything felt like it was off. She keeps saying five or six of them. Are you talking about the alleged young men that was at the party? And we say allegedly, because, bitch, if you come for me, you're going to know about it. Period. She keeps saying yes, but she keeps saying the light-skinned one. So I don't know if... Um, She keeps telling me there was a light skin when, like, when they, she keeps showing me the video of her walking in the hallway when she was, like, bumping into stuff. She said, first, she don't like how they tried to portray her. Um, like, she's some kind of pill-popping alcoholic, and she's not. Um, that's how she said it to me. She said, first of all, um, she says, Second of all, she says she was ready to go, but wait a minute, because, oh, okay, oh, okay, because no, I'm getting ready to ask her, like, if the guys, like, how did the guys know y'all was coming or knew you would come, because if, if I'm being quite honest about how, why I feel like you were killed and, and your organs and all of that stuff, um, I feel like it was specifically for a celebrity who needed what you had inside of your body. Um, and so they specifically targeted you. Do you feel like you were specifically targeted? <laughs> She keeps saying, not at first, I didn't. I didn't know what happened. 
Um, she said, but watching everything back or seeing everything back, she does understand. Um, she says she's mad at them, but she's not. And when you say them, are you talking about the young men, alleged? She keeps saying there's one female. There's one female. But I feel like... Like, I feel like I know her, but she's not my friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's somebody that I would have known or even, like, have heard about her or seen her before, but she's not my friend. But I feel like... keeps saying hired 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 and then she keeps saying not me that's crazy right never did she think it would be her she said like how does somebody just pick you out Naya keeps shaking her head she keeps saying I'm trying to tell y'all the reach that these people have She, Naya sat up. She says, I don't want her to be afraid to talk. So, um, let's just listen. Okay. So, oh, just, okay, come on. Let's, let's, let's go ahead. So, now are you up to, now we're going into the hotel. Okay. Because um, you're showing me the footage of y'all walking in the hotel. My vehicle is too right here. Um. She makes me feel like, if I'm being quite honest, y'all, she makes me feel like this was a toss-up between her and um, another female that would have been there that evening, too. But I feel like her genetics or something was the best. I don't know if her organs were just more pure, like she didn't really do shit, you know what I mean? Like... Like, she wasn't, like, the weed smoking, pill popping, drinking, like, they would keep trying to make her out to be. I don't feel like she was necessarily that person. She keeps saying she was pure in a lot of ways, so I don't know what that means. But I'm going to just say that. Uh, I'm talking about Naya Rivera. Naya Rivera has escorted Kanika Jenkins in here. I feel so dizzy. I feel weird. My head hurt too, Carlos. Yeah. My head is hurting and I feel really dizzy. I feel like I have a lot of stuff going on in my body or something. Or I just kind of feel a little woozy. Um, but she keeps saying the light skin one. But I feel like one of them had like curly hair at the top or had some sort of de decent textured hair or something at the top. But she keeps saying light skin and showing me a light skin one. Um, but she does keep saying five, like it's five or six of them. Now, um, she makes me feel like the female would make seven. She keeps saying party, party, party. Ready to go. Didn't want to be there. Feeling weird. So, were you wanting to drink when you first got there? Because you keep telling me they was like pressuring you to get the cup. And you keep showing me watermelon. I don't know what the watermelon is about, but I'm just going to state it anyway. Um, but I don't know if they, you know, was like, get a cup, y'all want a cup, y'all want something to drink, but that's the way she made me feel like, like she was impressed at first or something. Like, she keeps showing me the video where they was like, she was like, where my cup at? Where my cup at? She said she was impressed at first. Uh, she made me feel like, you know how you, you drink at something, um, and then it's like, you set it down or something, it's like, well, where did that go? So, it's not like she was pressed. She says she don't like the way that they made her out to me. So, I was asking her, is there anything that she could give me that could be validated? And, um, like, they say if somebody knew her, if her mom watched this, like, would there be something that she could say that would validate um, anything for her or her family? Um, 
and she keeps saying like they had had a, just had a conversation or something. She tells me she had a fairly really good relationship with her mom, but she keeps talking that they had just recently had a conversation about like dating and, and sex. So it's not like oh she just learned about sex. I feel like we just had recently had a conversation about this topic or subject. And so if this would be like something her mother could validate if she was to watch this back. Um, she's also talking about wanting her mom to like um, get happy or be happy or um, start doing more stuff for herself. She said her mom is a really good person. Then she keeps saying sister, 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 my sister or sister, sister. All these people think they know me, think they know my story. They don't. I don't know if she will be 19 or 20. She keeps repeating 1920. Not like the year 1920, like 19 or 20. So I don't know if she would be 19 or 20 right now, but that's the way she makes me feel about it. Now, um... She tells me got to the party, um, was chilling, a lot of people came or there was a lot of people there. Now she keeps making me feel like she saw somebody that she was either had interest, was interested in or she thought was cute or you know she had her eye on somebody. So I feel like, like somebody had possibly had came. But she's talking about a lot of people coming and a lot of people leaving. Like people came, but they didn't stay very long or people was in and out. She keeps saying what people don't know or what they didn't show was people was in and off the elevators going up and down in and out of the hotel. She said this happens all night long anyway. She keeps saying, so it was weird. So are you saying that usually it was a lot of people and people would have been in the hallway and in the elevators where there was none when we watched it back? It wasn't any, but that was unusual. Is that what you're saying? She keeps saying, basically, because I don't know how did nobody see me. Hmm. That's interesting. She said she started feeling really weird. Um, she's saying like she knows she doesn't really drink or she doesn't really do stuff like that or something. So, you know, I, I feel like she had chucked it up at first. Like, damn, I didn't get fucked up quick or something. But I feel like after that, like I blacked out or I passed out, but I was still awake and up, like walking and moving. But I don't feel like I was... Um, like cognizant or I was aware of, of things that were going on um, she said she was repeating things or saying things that if people would have listened to her it didn't make sense because she says she feels like she was out of herself or out of her mind she says not like me wasn't me I didn't do this I didn't do this to myself She keeps saying higher reps. Um, are you talking about higher reps like inside of the hotel or the who who are the higher ups? You mean like like what do you mean? You mean what are you talking about? She keeps telling me somebody named with the J um had the hookup or got the hookup. So she makes me feel like somebody was at the party that also works at the hotel. She says two of them. So two people that was affiliated with the hotel was at the party too. Are you talking, are, are like, what do they look like? One of them, she keeps saying they look, he looks Hispanic or he's like, like light complected or really fair skin. And then she says the other one, the dark one. Hook up hotel. 
do this all the time. She said they get paid to throw parties. So, but was this a paid party? Because it's supposed to be your girl's birthday party. So, was this a paid party? The majority of them are. She says, "Yeah, this one was." She says they'll tell you it wasn't, but it was. She keeps saying because it wasn't just me. I feel like there were other people, like one other person that they had thought about. Um, this could have been, um, and she keeps saying, "I don't mind. I I don't mind." Like two people. You said you thought the birthday girl worked at the hotel. Well, shit, that may be who she's talking about because she's talking about a female, but she's talking about there's two people. But she keeps showing me some light skinned guy uh, as well. So I'm just going to say that one more time. Um, she keeps saying there was a lot. She gives me a pain in my arm. Um, She said she didn't even ask her, was it, was she, did she fight back or, you know, did she have, like, pains from fighting? And she keeps saying, what fight? Like, she was too fucked up to fight. There was no fight. But when she shows me people on her, there's, like, three different boys on her, guys on her. Um, and she's, like, on the floor or whatever. Like, she was trying to fight, but there was no fight. There was, like, no fight. Like, she was trying to, but there was no fight. Somebody walked her out in the hallway or we were in the hallway and then I feel like I was left there but not by myself like somebody else came from somewhere or two other people was in the hallway or something she made me feel like somebody left or went back into the room and like that person was being distracted or that person was being talked to so then I feel like I, I was like I like that person was like I have to go um and then it's like oh oh like, where'd she go? Like, oh, where's she at? But I feel like the person she asked or the, the people she asked who said no, they didn't know, actually knew. So are you saying... She said, you know what I'm saying. I know, but I'm just saying, though. So how much do you feel like or do you know how much they got paid? She made me. Like they only got paid like ten thousand dollars. Maybe twenty, but I feel like that would be too high. She keeps saying she got her hands like in between her legs, like yep. Yep. Nothing. She say nothing. She keeps saying if you could really see them, they were everywhere. But I feel like she keeps saying Photoshop, Photoshop. So I already felt like that anyway, you know, because she had already showed me previous. Like I said, I did a shorter video on this. And she kept showing me that they were Photoshopped out. Um, but I had asked her at that point, and I'll ask her again right now because she says, yeah, 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 no need to ask. So there are people that allegedly work at this hotel um that she says body harvesting so i had already heard that previous that the crown hotel body harvests a lot of uh people and and you know organs and stuff i had already heard that um she 
said, yeah, it's true, but they quiet a lot of it. Um, and I feel like her passing, um, her passing made them have to go and use another hotel for a while. So the, the, the hotel is allegedly connected to um, like a, a pedophilia ring, sex ring, organ corp, harvesting ring is what you're saying. One of them or all of them. She's asking them how much is she allowed to say? Cause she keeps rubbing her leg and she keeps asking her, she keeps saying, what can I say? Cause I don't want to say too much. Um, and they, they tell her it's okay. She can say some things. She's here with a gentleman though, that will feel like her grandfather or something or an uncle or something to her. Uh, so she's not by herself, but he almost stands by her as if he's like her bodyguard or her guardian or something like he watches over her as well. Um, about the way she talks. I don't know if she had a lisp or if she talked with her tongue or something. I don't know. Um, it's just something about the way she speaks. She keeps saying at first she felt like she had to use the bathroom. Um, like like something was messing with her stomach like she had to use the bathroom use the bathroom um and she had kept telling them she was ready to go or she wanted to leave or she just felt like it was like garbage and you know i don't know not like i don't want to say garbage she said but like it just wasn't like she wasn't feeling it she says and she was kind of ready to go she said you know how you could just feel something she said, I just felt it. I just felt it. She keeps saying walked, walked her down. She makes me feel like it was a longer span of time than what we actually got to see on the videos of them, like of her walking down the hallway and bumping into stuff. She makes me feel like this was a longer period of time um, because I guess of how they had to do it or how they were doing it. It was actually a longer period of time. She keeps saying, I don't know how nobody found me. Like there's almost no way that nobody um, shouldn't have seen her in this hallway. Um, she says, one, a lot of people Two, it took forever. She says that's her looking back. But she also keeps saying like somebody kept like grabbing her, like by her butt or something. Like they were touching her or feeling her inappropriately as well. She keeps saying, but y'all didn't see that, did you? I don't recall seeing it. I don't know if nobody else seen it. I didn't see it. She's talking about not knowing where her um, her phone or her stuff is. So I don't know if she had like a little wallet purse or a purse or something in the phone. So I don't know if she didn't know where it was at or if somebody was supposed to have went and got it. Keep saying something about she was saying she had to use the bathroom. She makes me feel like that's one of the things that she kept repeating or something. Like she had to use the bathroom and they were like, come on, we're going to take you. We're going to take you to the bathroom. Come on, right this way. Come over here. We're going to take you. No, you got to come over here. And she says you could hear them laughing like they were laughing. Like peeking around the corners and stuff. And like, like standing like this at the corner of the the hallway or something um she said they laugh like i can see them bent down laughing try not to be loud like when she would bump into something
They, she says they kept saying she was, she was fried or something. She was fried. Like she was fucked up or she was wasted. She says, I can't believe they did this to me. She says she had plans for after school, for, for like graduation. She had plans. So when they showed you like being walked or walking, um, ew, yeah, yeah, I felt that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like somebody was walking her and kept like trying to like kiss her on her neck or was talking. You know, somebody talking up on you, like, you know, and you could feel like the breath or something. Like the energy on your neck and ear. That's the way it felt to me just now. Like somebody just kept doing it. Like one of them was really perverted. Like he kept like trying to like rope her or something. And touch her or something. He may be the one that may have tried to rape her. Because she keeps showing me that like somebody had sex with her. Or somebody raped her. Um, she showed me that as well briefly. But um, She keeps saying they were told to preserve her body. So, honestly, it didn't matter, she says, how they, like, ended her life or what they did to her. They were only told they were to get her into the freezer because she says she don't know what people were told, but the freezer, the freezer was on. It wasn't on at first. It was turned on. The freezer was not being used. It was turned on, she says. She also says there was no way she could have put herself in it. Um, she says the pictures that were shown of her was not how she was found, which is... She shows me being found with no clothes on, and they had to redress her. Um, like she, I feel like she didn't have no clothes on or something from the bottom down. I feel like I had on like one shoe and one sock or something. Like they took off one, one shoe to take the pant leg off, but I feel like the sock came off too or something. Um, I just feel like she was not fully clothed or not fully dressed when she was discovered or when she was found. I feel like two or three like held her down and had sex with her or raped her. Um, I keep feeling like she was either hitting her head or she hit her head or they hit her head or something. It's almost like they didn't know how to um, to kill her. And, and I hate to say that like that, okay? I really, really hate to say that um, like that, okay? Um, because I feel like they didn't know. Like, I feel like they tried to asphyxiate her. Um... I feel like somebody had their hand like over her mouth or her nose or something. Um, she keeps saying, but they didn't even have to do much. Like the feeling that she gives me is like I feel very sick. I feel very drained. I feel like very out of whack. I feel very kind of fucked up. She tells me she had been in transition for hours before they let them come and get her. She had been gone. Been gone. Been gone. She keeps telling me to highlight somebody with like either a lot of bumps on their face or they have a lot of acne scars on their face. They were a part of this. This person was a part of this. So whoever, I don't know if it's male or female, because I can only see like the face, the jaw. 
and it's I can see all the MDW. black spots from like the acne or acne yeah. scars. It's part now, but it's an like MDW. Mm. Yeah, when I worked there, I don't know if somebody's name is like Jabrian or Jabrian or something. Who the heck back there? Like, I hate that too. So, I need to, I want to acknowledge it. And the J name, she's bringing that back up. And then a B, I don't know if the B goes with the J, but she's telling me a B name is Will. Maybe I'm going to get the mall. I feel like her actual time of death was around um, like 3.35 or 4 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Um, there was like a blood vessel or something busted in her eye and if we could have seen it or if people saw it I don't know if there's a picture of this or I don't know but um she keeps showing me like a blood vessel or something was broken in her eye she's telling me there were things done that really hurts back there like I hit my head um Her mom will never have peace, or her mom will never have peace until there's justice, and there'll be no justice, or there'll be no peace. Um, she wants to send a lot of love out to her mom and to her sister or siblings. Um, I don't know if there's three of them in total, or if there's three other siblings besides herself. She keeps saying her dad, so I don't know if there's a sibling or a child by her dad or something, or, or with the sibling, she keeps saying my dad. Um, she keeps saying, never got to do nothing. I didn't get to do my life. She keeps saying, no kids, no college. She's talking about loving to get her hair done. and um, She said, well, she could do that now. She did like this. She could do that now, but she keeps saying it's different. It's different. Oh, her father has passed away. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe that's the man that was with her. Okay, well, maybe that's what that is then. Um, she says she never wanted any of this. She says, when I said people will know my name, she never meant like this. So I don't know if she said she was going to be famous one day to her friend. Um, she says, but she definitely never meant this way. Okay. So she shows me that there were still three people in that freezer doing stuff. Um, when one of the, the, the genomes, one of the genome white people, one of the workers from the hotel came, because I could see him like open it and peek in the freezer or over looking, like this isn't finished yet or this isn't done yet, hurry up and get this cleaned up or something, like hurry up. Um, listen. Allegedly, allegedly, okay, allegedly, uh, she says the police had been dispatched, okay, she said the police had been dispatched, and um, they just never came until it was time for them to come, she says they just never came. So you say that they had already knew because what you keep showing me is like one of them on the phone, like, is it done yet? 
we can't come yet? Is it time yet? Like, she keeps showing me that. Am I understanding correctly? She said, yes, ma'am. Okay, so, um... She says, because mm, the police had already been called because they're part of this way before her mother ever came, she says. So when, when your mom spoke to the police, did your mom speak to the police? When your mom spoke to the police, they had already knew, but they were just, what, pretending, acting or something? She keeps saying that's what they do. She said they already knew. She says everybody is in on it. She's saying politicians and everything. She says this is a big ring. They got a lot of money for this. So do you think they took all your parts or organs or is they just took what, what the little rich bitch needed and, 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 and. saying they took what they needed and they needed everything um so she keeps showing me heart and i'm like oh your heart they took it for a transplant she keeps saying listen i'm sorry for the graphicness but she keeps showing me like somebody almost eating it or biting it um and then she keeps saying like what they can't use they do store for food or they eat um she says whether y'all believe that or not she keeps saying, y'all better know your stuff. Or know your shit. She says what she sees a lot. You know, being in spirit or being crossed over. So she's saying, um, even when things seem like they're unbelievable, you please know that there is a way or they are sometimes believable. Even if it's unbelievable, it still is true. She says, like herself. She says she would never, ever, ever thought that this could happen to her. She says this was not even like on her radar of thinking that this would happen to her. She said, just want to be happy. She says, other kids, other people. So, do you feel like they just are targeting black people, or do you think they're targeting all people, depending on what they need, or is it a need, or like, how does it work? She keeps looking at somebody else over her shoulder, like, making sure she can talk, like, say the right things. And it's not that she's being controlled, you know? Um, making me feel like she gave, they gave her a little bit more of something of whatever they had originally given her. I feel like they were trying to give her more. They thought they should give her more. They didn't give her enough. I feel like she was overly intoxicated, but not by like drinking. Like, I don't feel like she was like drunk. drunk. I feel like something was given to her. Um, she keeps saying a uh, Lucy or Mickey or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. But yeah, I feel like they gave me that as well. So I thank you for validation. And I'm going to listen to her. This is the craziest thing. I t Listen, I'm never prepared for, for this shit when this kind of shit happens. When this shit kind of goes down. Because I don't know if y'all have ever seen American Gangster... 
But I just had Chucky Williams walk in this motherfucker, and he was the original uh, gangster. I believe he started like I don't even want to be disrespectful because I don't. I, I want to say he started the blues. I don't know. I, I, I keep saying Chucky Williams. Chucky. I know. Is this what I did? I thought he was. Look what I just turned to say to you. Like, am I saying he was? I knew he was old. Like he had a just thing. I thought so many shot. Hey, I don't even know. But it's the Crips. Oh Lord, please forgive me, Lord. Blue, it's the Crips. Okay, okay, okay. Please forgive me. I don't even know. They say he was cute. Um, got lethal injection. Oh, yes, I know he was really? Oh. Keep saying his name is um, Tukey Williams. Yeah. <sighs> oh. um, pleased to meet you as well. Um, let me listen. Let me listen. It is a pleasure to have everybody here. Um, tapered around the sides and he has like a beard it's not like a beard beard but it's like a beard he looks really really nice he's very very fit he's really fit um go ahead go ahead come on. <coughs> so um basically you were killed for organs is what you're saying she says basically Did her mom have a book come out or is her mom having a book come out or is like is somebody telling a story about Kanika Jenkins because she keeps talking about the book but I feel like the book is like about her about her story about her life does anybody know if, if that is something they said hi Carlos I don't know if her mom is writing a book or something, but she keeps talking about her mom and then she keeps talking about a book. So I don't know if her mom has a book or made a book or is doing something with the book. Um, so I'm just not sure, okay? Um, okay. She keeps talking about somebody is writing a tale all or going to be writing uh, some sort of book. I don't know if they're talking about this or talking about her or talking about the Crown Hotel, but she keeps saying that, so I'm going to repeat that as well. Um, she's saying thank you to everybody who uh, wanted to know her story, who talked about her, who, who asked about her. Um, she keeps saying, I'm all right, y'all. She keeps showing me a stack of books. They look like college books though. Like she keeps saying like she still is in school or she's still in college or she um, is still pursuing that. 
She tells me she works with a lot of girls in college. She keeps showing me fraternities and things. So this is what she keeps you oh, to keep them safe and parties and stuff. Damn this D. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, since you get to do that, you get to study and stuff. It's really too easy to do. I understand, girl. I understand. She keeps showing me, like, everything moving in slow motion and, like, 3D, if you will. Like, like you know how something goes really fast and it's like you can see it in multiples because that's how fast it went? Like that. She keeps showing me, like, it almost looked like that's how everything was looking. Like, weird. So did you not know anything that was going on? She says, not until like somebody started trying to like take her clothes off or something and she still didn't know, but she was still trying to protect herself, but she had no fight. Oh, yeah. She keeps saying, yeah, they killed me. They killed me. This was no accident. She said she didn't walk into a freezer. She keeps saying, how, how, how the fuck? Right. They do have jobs or assignments in the in the in the spirit world. Yes. Um. So I'm gonna look and see if anybody has any questions. Um. He says the hotel was part of it. Yes, the hotel uh, was part of. He said it's a book out by Tashandra Barnes. It's about Kanika Jenkins. took a bite of her heart yeah listen there are these people a lot of these people are not humans they are reptilian beings and different beings like that and they do eat and harvest human organs um so when you say that her friends uh set her up oh bless you She keeps saying it like she knows the girl, like they were cool or something, but she keeps saying it's not like one of her bitches, bitches or something like, like. She keeps saying like not the, the, the Mamusa girl, not her. Like it's someone else. I feel like she genuinely felt bad or something about that one of her friends but she keeps saying like her friends friends wouldn't do this what do you wait whoa 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 what do you mean by that she says that people set people up all the time like this so she keeps saying like Like, young girls get paid to take niggas to hotels all the time. Like, they are getting paid to, like, young girls are getting paid to lure men or lure people. She says this is kind of what they do. She says this ain't new. She says some of her friends do this. She asked her if she do does this too. She said she's been approached or she's been asked by people um, and offered good money to like just get them to the hotel. She said she don't want to be a part of that. She didn't want to do that. She says one of the guys that was there uh, had already asked her previously to do something like that, to like to lure somebody or uh, that. She made me feel like somebody was upset. Um, that she wouldn't do that or they had asked her a couple times and she wouldn't do it she keeps saying yeah but that's not new that's not new that's not new
you keep talking about some girl brother got set up that way. So I don't know if somebody set one of the girl's brothers up or if this... She keeps saying the girl brother got set up that way. So I don't know who she's talking about, but she is talking about that, okay? Um, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and let the queen pull her energy back. This is very interesting, but I, some of the things on the hour you I already told me so I already knew before. So, Miss KK, I appreciate you for coming in and speaking with us. She keeps saying, that's it. You don't want to know nothing else. Is there anything else that we need to know? Like, spill the tea. Let's listen. she missed, I don't know if she's saying turkey sandwiches and chips, but she keeps me feel like she missed that, like I want a turkey and cheese sandwich or something with chips, like that's what she keeps saying, like I missed that or I want to eat that or something, so I don't know why she keeps bringing up a turkey sandwich with chips, but okay. <laughs> Said, ask Tukey that they steal his organs too. I heard they did. He keeps saying liver and kidneys. Liver and kidneys. He's talking about taking care of his body. <clears throat> I don't know why he's showing me that. I don't know if he has some sort of tattoo or some sort of um, like embroider or something, but he keeps showing me them like slicing off a piece of his skin as if they kept something as a trophy of him like it's so weird like i feel like it's like you know how you branding branding thank you like you brand something like a, it looked like either that or some sort of tattoo and he keeps taking a blade and like slicing it off and like putting it up you know like they did that or something Somebody has somebody in the hospital because Mama Adina keeps telling me to talk about this. So somebody's family member is in the hospital. This would be connected to someone with a T name. I don't know if that person is a T name or if you're a T name, but they keep talking about somebody is in the hospital or someone is touch and go with um, something that's in the hospital. Or was in the hospital like someone passed that had been in the hospital come through wait what wait what who the fuck is that whoa whoa stop everybody call stop call what the fuck I have a few celebrities coming in, but one of them, he's a young black guy, and they say he killed himself, um, something about he was gay at one point, um, but he he was a child star. Oh, what's the name? He, he got like the hazel eyes? No. He is dark skin, and he ended up killing himself. 
If you can Google it and find it, yeah, I, I know I what know it looks like. Okay, I know who you talking about too. Um, somebody probably gonna say his name on there. We still have Kanika here. Kanika. isn't gone anywhere but i thank you LaShawn. i'm definitely going to ask you who to close the gate um because i don't know like what's going on but reason why i said hold the fuck up because somebody keeps saying tom cruise and i'm like tom cruise oh is that the team name is he got somebody in the hospital is he in the hospital i don't know what the fuck is going on what is, what is happening what are we talking about let's get into it who okay well, they say I have Marilyn Monroe. Morgana. She came through. Morgana, she said she's here because you asked her to be. Yay! Morgana is here. Mm. Well, it's about to go down. I just want y'all to know we're about to get a little bit of tea, hopefully, because some shit is about to go down. Um, so, for those of you who don't know who Morgana is, Morgana is the young woman who was the real Lady Gaga before Lady Gaga allegedly um, killed her, threw her off the top of a building, and took her whole persona. He did. He killed Shut the fuck up. And he was a child star. I did not know that. Is that who I'm talking to? That's who I feel like it was. Oh my God. When did that happen? He killed himself like a year or two ago. Shut the fuck up. He was Jet Jackson. Yeah. I did not know that boy had killed himself and was. Oh my God. He was number 29. I wonder what happened because it was so random. I did not know that's who that was. Okay, but okay, but okay. Shit. Okay. Yes. Y'all didn't know that? Yes, honey. Lord. So it is allegedly said that at the beginning of Lady Gaga's career that uh, she was, um, has just began working with a young chick named Morgana who was the same style that Lady Gaga is now and that she had all these different personas and d does all these different things and she could sing like Lady Gaga and all these different things. She was about to be picked up and they both were like kind of working for the same label or something or were under the same label or whatever. Uh, yeah, this is all researchable on YouTube. And um, right before the lady's career took off, uh, she was said she committed suicide by jumping off of a building and people are saying that that is not what happened allegedly the lady guy got uh threw her off the building or pushed her off the building and then um claimed this lady's persona and she became who morgana was supposed to be so you can uh look it up you can google that or youtube that now i have that young lady here so I don't know why the fuck they keep talking about Tom Cruise, child. I don't know. I don't know if that's a clone. That's not really Tom no more. I don't know, but don't they do keep the saying Tom Cruise. Okay. So let's let's look at some stuff. Is there any other ones that popped up? Cause I, that's not who I thought it was, but I didn't even know. So that's possible that that's who it is. Cause um, they keep saying two. So it may be him and the other one that they I saw first. They're both black guys. Yep. Okay. Kanika keep laughing, say she kind of starstruck. She's just happy to be here. Uh, with all of them, you know. Uh, so what's going on? Who do, who who wants to talk first? Who do we have? What is what is happening? Um, they tell me that Gerald Levert is also here. I spoke with him maybe once. What's it? Um, Crystal Stewart. Yeah, Let me see. He did! Shut the fuck up! Not Chris on St. John! We! Shut the fuck up! 
They knocking us the fuck off. They knocking us the fuck off. Let's see if, um, Aaliyah, let's see if Aaliyah can come in. Um, that's interesting. Um, I, I don't think she's a diva diva, but they keep saying, like, Aaliyah says if she does this, she wants to do it like by herself. <laughs> by herself exclusively, like Aaliyah. You know what I mean? Um, so they say she wants to do it by herself. She, they say she says it's not. So I mean, is she here? She's sending word through people. I mean, come on. Yeah, hey, Queen. <laughs> She says, I'll talk, but if I talk, I want it to solely be me because she says she has a story to tell. I'm going to be excited about that. I'm going to be excited about that. She says when she talks, people want to uh, move stuff around in their calendar because she got stuff to say. So, okay. So you don't want to sit down right now and do it. She's like, um, oh, I can, but she wants to do it differently. She doesn't want to do it at this moment. She says she's not being a diva. <laughs> she says she feels like it's of importance. I keep trying to ask her questions. She calls him Rob. He's a good person. Listen. But won't she allow that? Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> she keeps saying, I understand what you're saying or what you're about to say. That's why I want to sit down and talk exclusively. Well, let's set that up. Let's do that. Because I'm not going to judge you. I don't know if I'm going to judge him. I ain't going to lie to you. But you defending him, and I'm a little puzzled. Was she like yeah, she was. She keeps saying because you don't know the whole story, and I know it looks bad, it sounds bad, because it is bad. But okay, so I'm gonna let you exit. Uh, we're gonna ask you who to open and close the gates and let you out. I thank you. Um, Somebody just said that Marvel is going to drop a new movie that's going to have a lot of jewels in it. Make sure y'all pay attention. Like you said, there's a new Marvel movie coming out that has a lot of jewels in it. Pay attention to it. I don't know, but we'll know when it comes. I'm going to let them um, pull, pull their energy back because I am really want to do the one with Aaliyah. We may have to go and pull that bitch out the bag tomorrow because I, I want to know. I'm so fucking nosy. Um, so if we finish the, finishing this up, um, Marilyn, okay, Marilyn, 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 huh, uh, she keeps, I keep hearing her name. So Marilyn Monroe, come through. talk like that okay are you doing your voice like that she says yeah she puts the voice on you actually have a strong voice like a paris hilton voice because she does that too she says um she was taught how to be very pretty she keeps doing that but then she talks and she talks normally. Like, she has a very strong voice. She tells me she was very smart, actually. 
Um, but she says at that time, they didn't want a, a, a smart blonde. They wanted you to shut your mouth up, open your, shut your mouth, shut your mouth, open your legs up and follow suit and don't get, go against the grain. Well, let's cut through the, the oh, shit. The dude from um, the Steve Harvey TV show, Merlin says him. Merlin. He is dark skinned. He wore glasses. He was a child, but he had braids going back. He was dark skinned. He, he killed himself. No. He was in, I almost want to say he was in um, Eight Mile or something, too. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody. Was it the dude from Moish, the Artemis Lamont? He was like, he had like some very sad He killed himself, or they claimed he committed suicide. Um, okay. So go ahead, Marilyn. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So I did, I seen a movie before, um, and I had asked her just now, really quickly, I said, well, what are you doing here? Like, she said my daughter did an article on her before, and she did. I remember that I had it saved and put up. She said my daughter did an article on her before, and she just, you know, wanted to come in. So we're going to let her do that. Um, she wants to put the rumors to bed. She said JFK never had her killed. She said the other ones had her killed. The same ones who had JFK killed had her killed. Um, and I will say allegedly, allegedly. Okay, period. Okay, so you want to kind of go into it. Um, she says that um, she calls him John. She says John was the best. Um, he was the best man that she knew. So you saying that JFK? You saying him? You said he was the best man, but you also whispered and told me he was a good kisser and lover as well. So she chuckled and said, "Yes, he is. Yes, he was." Um, so. She's talking very fast. I need you to just hold on and slow down a, a moment. Because she's telling me that he's not the only man that she dealt with. He was just the most sincere man that she had dealt with. That that, that wasn't just trying to like run her over or do some things. Um, I said, so he wasn't a womanizer. She said, oh, he had his moments. He had his moments. But um, I feel like he treated her a little bit better than everybody else. She keeps talking about Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. She says that um, she wanted Jackie to know. Well, what? But well, why would you do that? Because that's his wife. You knew your role, though. You was the side piece. And I don't mean no disrespect, but I'm just saying you was the side chick. Call it what it is. She says, um, it became a bed of love, like I fell in love with him. She makes me feel like she would call his house and wouldn't say nothing and then hang up. But like those were the times where she was drinking or something. She also says that everybody made it seem like Jackie was so pure, like she was just like this, this wholesome person and I was like the whore um, and she didn't like that I asked her if she trying to say that Jackie was and she says no she's not saying that she doesn't know what she was but she's not going to say she was that because she feels like she wasn't she just didn't like um, like the comparison or she didn't like not feeling like she was good enough Thank you, yeah. 
She says to, to enlighten those who may not know her story. I saw the movie about her life. All I know is that she um, kind of went from foster home to foster home or home to home. Um, her mom left her and didn't want her. And so she kind of went from home to home, like foster home. Um, so she's, she said she took classes, acting. She tried everything she could to be a success. She says when still she never felt like she was good enough, even when she was at the height of her career. She says, I fell in love with the wrong man. Girl, a lot of us do, Lord. I ain't lying. Okay, for yard. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's such an honor to speak to you. You know that? I mean, it's a real pleasure, like, to speak to you. Because we don't get many of, of y'all. She knows. Yeah. Is that offensive? Yeah. Um. She keeps telling me they held her down and poured something in her mouth or poured something in her throat. Um, much like what they showed me for Jimi Hendrix, too. Um, she keeps saying pills, 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 and then, like, they put pills in my mouth or they poured pills in my mouth with liquor or something. Naya says, I told you that's the stuff they do if you don't take your own self out. And she says she was not going. Everybody has a question, Naya, about your sister allegedly dating your ex-husband. She keeps saying, oh my God, <laughs> I don't care. She keeps saying what's done is done. She says she loves her sister, but there was always some sort of like off in there. You know, you can be close to somebody, but still there's something off there or something you don't trust there. But she has no qualms about it. She says she doesn't care. She says it's not what everybody thinks. It's not what everybody thinks it is. She keeps saying people minding their business. She said donate love and beautiful energy to her son. That's what she would like for everybody to do. Who is he? She was like between her mom or something and his father. She says the husband. Is her husband his, his father? She keeps saying the husband. She keeps saying, yeah, yeah. She's so sweet. I just love Naya. I really do. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, I know your name really isn't Marilyn, and I, I don't even remember what your real name is, but I know it isn't Marilyn, but I'm just going to call you that for the sake of people knowing who you are. She tells me they had tried to kill her twice before, actually... Um, going through with it or they attempted or threatened her twice before actually going through with it these were two or three big men that came into her place of residence she shows me them like holding her down on the bed or something It's so weird because her hair is not even the blonde the way it was blonde. It's almost like she keeps going between like a dark blonde and um, like a brunette-ish. And she's in her 50s. Or she looks like she's in her 40s or 50s. Like she looks really good, but she's not the young Marilyn. Like even though she didn't live to be the older Marilyn, she doesn't um, like, you know, she's not, she's okay with being beautiful because she's still beautiful but like she has on a, a black and red flower black white and red flowered shirt with some black slacks with her legs crossed she tells me she's traveled all over and she's spoke all over um, inside of being in the spirit like kind of that's what she does she brings awareness to different things um, she's talking about 
drug rehab and eating behaviors or eating disorders. So you wanted to just say today that JFK did not kill you. That's what you came to say. She says the powers that be killed her. So did he have you killed? Because everybody says he had you killed because you was ruining his, his marriage. She laughs and slid back in her seat and sat up. And then she kind of says, um... Yeah, I know, but it's not what, what they thought. She says, yeah, they were, she was trying to like, she says two different things was going on, okay? She keeps saying her and JFK was something different. Like she was jealous of Jackie. She wanted him, but she says that May influenced it, but that's not what happened. She tells me she had information on some other shit that she was threatening to bring out if he didn't be with her and ultimately that's what got her killed she says it had nothing to do with the relationship itself or her cheating with him or him having an adulterous affair uh, she says it was what she was threatening to say or tell she keeps showing me like being privy to some things like being on his arm at some places where Jackie would not go or was not at. Like I feel like she, he took her to like underground shit or something. You know what I mean? Like if we all go into this underground club where it may be some gambling and shit like I'm on his arm. That kind of thing. But if he's at like a function, Jackie's with him. You know what I mean? So I feel like I was this person and I wanted to be with him. And I feel like she keeps making her like she couldn't understand, like, why? <laughs> I understand, because, bitch, I done been there. She has been me. I've been her. Okay, she is me. Here. I will have a truck that will be arriving um, in the next few days to the state of Texas carrying supplies. I no longer have the funds to just give out as far as like giving cash apps. I'm now putting all of my money and funds um, that I'm using towards this relief to send um, supplies to the people. Um, I was told that some people cannot use the money that I'm sending because they have nowhere to use it at. So I have a truck that will be arriving in Texas um, that will be holding supplies. That is water, blankets. Um, I know that the weather is changing um, in, in, in some of these places, but it is our belief that we're going to get hit with something different. Um, and so I'm trying to make sure that we can cover each other as much as possible one band one sound so now last night we were getting some heavy ass downloads we were getting the heavy downloads last night to the point where i was so thirsty i watched it back last night and um i, I was in shock and then i watched some of it back today and what I was receiving in downloads, like, I just want to start, excuse me, uh, with the body snatchers, okay? With the body snatchers. 
so I was talking about two NBA players last night. Well, Adina was. Mother Adina was talking about two NBA players last night. And I could not think of the one young man's name. Because um, sometimes when I'm, I'm inside of the download, I have no idea. Okay. So um, people were sending me the young man's name. And I needed to go and see if that's the young man I was speaking of or Adina was speaking of. And his name is Jermon, Jermon Green. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep saying alleged because we need to say alleged when we're speaking about these things. For financial reasons so we don't get sued. This is for disclaimer for educational purposes only. So, what spirit has continued to reveal to me? It's so amazing. And it's, it's amazing and not in a good way. I want y'all to understand something. Like when we were talking about the movie Get Out, we were talking about the faculty, and we were talking about Manchurian and Kennedy. Spirit showed me, and I was like, well, Spirit, you said that there was somebody that was a paraplegic in a wheelchair that like wanted to experience this. And when I said that to Spirit, Spirit showed me. They are paying to use the bodies. This shit is fucking me up. Like the downloads will not stop. Like just now, what I just downloaded when I was like asking them about Chadwick again and about um Natalie and I'm like, am I tripping spirit? Like, show it to me. And what spirit showed to me was they used them as a couple. 